Good morning. It is Saturday, April 29th, and I am headed to Connecticut Sheep and Wool for the day. I'm super excited. I woke up before the alarm because I couldn't sleep. It's like Christmas for knitters, right? So I'm going to pick up my niece, Riley, and we'll be on our way, and we're going to capture some footage to share with you today, so I hope you enjoy. Hey, good morning. Good morning. We got Riley. Are you excited? Yes. I'm yeah? Excited. Did you, what was that printed thing that you put in your bag? Did you print out the vendor list? Yes. You did. <laughs> yeah. I guess we're going to study that on the way down. I can tell you the people that I'm excited to see when we get there. Okay. Sound I good? didn't, I didn't look at the vendors as much as like the events in certain barns. Oh, cool. Okay. So, you have to tell me about those because I didn't have a chance to look. Because you said we were going to go to mo like all the, pretty much all the vendors yeah. anyway. So I just looked at the events that I wanted to go to at times. Okay. So we'll make a plan. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Off we go. No more beer. She probably like you can let me go now. Well, she settled down and comfortable now. Oh wow, that's my fur that she got. I tried to open it. Like, see, that's how, that's the actual sheet way down there. Way down there. I'm in a hole. <laughs> I'll fix you. It's gonna be gone.
You're gonna so want to squish this. Over here. Why? Because she would like this one and she would like the Harry Potter one. Riley has a new favorite game. We're gonna guess what's on the inside. What's inside the mermaids? Shells. Shells. That's a good guess. Is she right? Nope. Is it water? Seahorses. <gasps> oh, that's cutie. Hold it open. I can't. That's fun. <laughs> what's inside of Grogu? Grogu? Yeah. Mando. What is your guess? I don't know it well enough. Neither I just know it's I. from the Mandalorian. Oh, space? it's more galaxy. Yeah. Woo! Not That's fun. Mando. What do you think's inside the Golden Girls? Hold on, hold on. I knocked over the hole. Where's that one? Um, tea? Yeah, sure. I've never seen it. I know, it's just no, a release. Oh, what about Friends? <laughs> I think I looked inside it already. You did? Do they both have the same, I wonder? I don't know. I can't remember already, though. Poppy. Okay. Uh, I say... Oh, it's fun. Open it. I can see it. Sorry, oh. I'm cheating. Oh, wait, yeah, I did open this. It's all the names. Oh, that's cute. I forgot I saw that. Okay, Harry Potter, last one. Ooh. Maybe all the, like... Wands? Or all or the, like... all the... All the different names of the thing, like Slytherin, uh. like all this. Gal oh, it's like stars, like magic. Yeah. Well, it is lunchtime and we're enjoying a bit of warmth in the car <laughs> while we're having some lunch. What'd you get? I got a chicken bacon ranch sandwich. It looks really good. I got a chicken quesadilla. We also got some cheesy fries that we're not really sure are our favorite, but there it is. Time to warm up. <laughs> It's a buffer bear. It's a buffer bear and a raw chicken. <laughs> Can we keep it? Not him. That's your answer.
You ready? Yeah. Hey folks. <laughs> <laughs> Riley just scared herself. We just wrapped up Connecticut Sheep and Wool. They're only open for another like eight minutes. We ended up being there longer than we thought. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did. It was really fun. Yeah? We're going to show you all of the goodies that we bought, which was a lot more than I intended because every time we went somewhere, Riley goes, yeah, you should buy that. <laughs> uh, what should we start with? Um, you want to do something first? Sure. I got this tote with the Connecticut Sheep and Wool and Fiber Festival thing on it. Um, logo. Cutie. It has a dog. And it has sheep. I didn't know it had a dog. We saw um, some sheep dogs today. Yeah, we did. And we pet a whole bunch of bunnies. Did we see other? Oh, we saw a little baby goat. We did. We saw a baby goat. We saw That's sheep. Really obviously. cute. Do you remember the name of your favorite sheep? No. It was a Romney. A Romney. Also known as a buffalo bear. <laughs> Do you want to break that down? Or a bear fellow. <laughs> it looked literally like a buffalo and a bear so now it's a buffalo bear until they sheared it until they sheared it and then it looked like a raw chicken it did so <laughs> uh my purchases are not going to be in any particular order because this bag is exploding let's do this one off the top really beautiful from liz at kingdom fleece and fiber works what kind of fiber is it rambouillet four ounces the light not be, might not be great with the, the bag. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, I love it. All right, we'll put that back there. Um, we bought something for Grammy. Should we show that? Yeah, that's and then that's the bunny. Yeah. We got a like a headband or a headscarf, and it's what's it called? Indigo. Yep. Tie indigo dye. dyed. Yep. So, because it looks like a lot of her swimsuits, so we figured for the beach and for the pool. Get it. <laughs> Toss. Oh. You want to do that one? Sure. Actually, you do one. Okay. Um, this was, uh, we hemmed and hawed and then went back at the end of the day to Gabby at Plies and Hellhounds. Love it. It is a 75% superwash Coriadale, 25% nylon fingering weight. Lady of Shallot, Marie Cutie. I love it. I don't know what that means. It's very me. So her. I would go around and pick out ones that I thought she liked and she was like, oh, yes. You okay. usually got it right. Oh, is Ayla good? Ayla's not going to watch this, right? I think it'll be good. Okay. Ayla, if you're watching this, go away. Fast forward. <laughs> Get out of here. I got this from my cousin Ayla for her birthday. It's just a little bunny. Because she likes different um, things like this. And so I got it for It's her. really cute. Um, speaking of, Auntie Jen has a color theme. This is from Ashling Yarn. This is a Superwash BFL. Love it. I might make a top out of this is what we thought. Or it could be a two-color shawl, but I love it. Mm, we have a theme. What else, Does anyone Rye? see a pattern? Because I do. Oh, we got mini skeins. Where are these ones from? These uh, are from... I don't know. Does it say? These are from the Yarnsmith. Okay. So we got two mini skeins. We got a peach one and a bright green one. For our hexies, right? Yes. Yeah. And then we got more mini skeins. Though, these ones are from Kingdom, Kingdom Fleece and Fiber Works. That's Liz. Where we right? got the fiber. Mm -hmm. Okay, this bright pink one. Okay. And then this, like, more You of might do better to pink, fold right? them like this. Fold Just, it? Yeah, yeah, because that, that's about it, yep. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Right? That color looks yeah. good that way. Mm -hmm. And then we got a blue one. I really like that one. And then we got this one that has, like, some pinks and purples and yellows. And then, last but definitely not least, or maybe least, yellow. <laughs> but we figured it would be good to have more of a solid one for. Um, I think it'll look nice with this one. Pattern them. Yeah. yeah. 
So we'll play around with those. We will. And add those to our thing. What else do you have? Uh, you picked out this one. Do you want to show it? It is? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is from Fiber Stash Dye Works, and it's called Dirty Crayon Box. Look at that. It's, and I'm going to do my best. Okay. It's a sock yarn, mm -hmm. and it's, what else am I supposed to say? What is it made out of? Oh, um... 80% merino and 20% nylon. And mm -hmm. it's that's all I got for you. The the SW means super wash, which means that you could put it in the washing machine and it's not going to completely felt together. Oh, but it's just hand wash. I know. That's the safer option. Oh. But if it's super wash, you probably could put it in the washing machine on gentle and then lay it flat to dry. And it feels like it's a pound, so there you go. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> um, we got a cool shawl pin from my grandmother, and you're not going to be able to tell quite so well here, but the two pieces of it fit together. Let's see if I can take it apart. Yeah. So we might have to bend it back a little so that it's easier for her to put it on. So yeah, I'll put these through the two sides ooh, of her shawl, unless I lose it, um, and then she can keep it clipped together. I think that's going to work. Bent. Yeah, it's meant to bend. That's okay. fine. Yep. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, okay. Then you got this big. Go ahead, pull that out, and I'll find the card. <laughs> Drops it. Oh. This is Merino and mohair i believe and it's from cold goats farm in haddam neck connecticut it's soft it might be my new pillow but it probably sheds and i don't like shedding things oh it doesn't shed i mean it might <laughs> good night and then last but definitely not least in terms of yarn oh this was the first purchase of the day. Kingdom Fleece and Fiber Works. Oh, I can love them so much. Can you tell she has a favorite color? Because I, I can't. I know. It's a sickness, really. <laughs> <laughs> There's more. Oh, but those are There's different more. colors. No, yeah, not in the same color family. I have got a thing. Yeah. Hmm? I would agree. <laughs> I think that is everything. I think oh, that's enough. And oh, we got yes. cookies to try. We did. Where are the cookies from? Does it say? Yeah. Moon pie. Oh, Moon Rocks Gourmet Cookies in Connecticut. Do you want to try them? Wait. Sure. Okay. We'll be right back. I'm going to clean this up. So we got three kinds of cookies from Moon Rocks. What did we get? Chocolate chip. Cannoli. Cannoli. And salty, salty caramel. caramel? Yeah. What are we going to try first? This one's really freaking me out, so we're going to try it. That's probably cannoli. It that looks really blown out. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, they look kind of weird, Oh, it but smells like anise. Do you like anise? Like black licorice? Uh, sure. I don't like that smell. That's anise. It doesn't taste like a cannoli. It tastes like nothing. I don't like it. <laughs> it tastes like, you know when Grammy makes Aunt Millie's cookies with the glaze and the sprinkles on them? People also make those with anise in them. That's what this tastes like to me. Mmm. I mean, the texture of it is really good, and the flavor is good. It's just not my favorite flavor. I kind of get cannoli. You like, do? a little bit. A little bit. If it didn't have the anise in it, I think you'd taste it more. Like, right now it tastes like cannoli. <laughs> <laughs> but in the beginning and the end, it doesn't. Okay, let's do the classic. Tom and Here you go. I think that's a chocolate chip one. It looks good. It's 
very chippy. They said they had the best cookies in the state, so. They did. I mean, that's a high bar. <laughs> Although it's a very small state. <laughs> They're very chippy. That one tiny bite, I think I got 12 chips. <laughs> Me too. Mm. It's not so bad. I wonder if they're like better warm. I also feel like this would be good like dunked in something. Because they're very dense. All of them are very dense. Yeah. They're probably better when they're warm and mm. when they're dunked in something. Mm -hmm. mm, actually, that second bite I got was really good. Salted caramel. Oh, this looks like it has chocolate in it, which I didn't think that it would. Okay. No, that's a caramel. I understand, but oh uh, no, but you don't think that's a chocolate chip? Oh, and that's right a there, caramel. yeah. I think there's both. <laughs> you meant all the caramel on the bottom. I was like, what? I did. I did at first think that that was, but I didn't know this one was gonna have chocolate. I'm more intrigued by this one now that I know that. Oh, I didn't get any chocolate. Oh, well. Here. Here. This one has both. It's fine. <laughs> we can have this bite next if you want. It's got stuck. <laughs> it tastes like coffee. I don't like coffee. Do you like this? It tastes like coffee. Mm. Doesn't it? A little bit. It's like salted caramel coffee. Which I enjoy. That's not what I expected at all. No. It's not what I expected either. No. It's not terrible. No, but I kind of feel like all three of them weren't quite what we expected, which is kind of odd. Best cooking in the state is um, a high standard. No offense, guys. <laughs> <laughs> if you're the owner, <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, what else should we tell them about our day? Is there anything else that we... We got to see a whole bunch of people. We'll put in some pictures. We saw Jess from Stitch by Jessalou and Stephanie from Dirty Water Dye Works and um, Gabby from Flies and Hellhounds and Liz from Kingdom Fleece and Fiber Works. What else did we see? Was that it? We ran into Carla and oh. her friend <laughs> making all the cookie noise. So yeah, I think we had a good day. I mean, it was rainy and gross and Riley's adorable flare pants are flooded like all the way up to her knees so that was not <laughs> ideal but maybe that was our fault not the the rainy fairgrounds fault <laughs> um but we didn't we didn't melt i didn't have any other pants <laughs> so it was a little cold and raw but coming in and having lunch in the car was nice warmed up and reset for the afternoon so we did pretty well yeah that was helpful <laughs> All right, well, I think we're going to end the vlog here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.